hey there, Facebook friends. How are you? Ta-da. I like these peepers. These are one of those uh, generic ones. Look what it's got going on today. It's Valentine's Day. I got this from my honey. Guess what it is? It's candy. I like candy. So how is everybody today? Doing good? You got your coffee for Synergy Cafe? Here's my Minnesota loon. It's really a duck, but I call it my Minnesota loon because I'm from Minnesota. You've heard that before if you've been on Synergy Cafe. So it's Wednesday, and I'm kind of wondering, who do we got here? Lynette, how are you? It's Wednesday, it's Valentine's, Valentine's Day today, and I'm thinking that, you know what? It should be a national holiday, and everybody should get the day off work today to spend time with their loved ones. And I wonder if that's the case. I wonder if people actually do get, uh, get the day off today. Because time is a commodity, you know? So, I was gonna talk a little about time. I got, I'm a time freak. Look at all the stuff I got behind me. I don't know if you can see all this stuff. I got all these hourglasses and stuff. Turn these things around, get some time flowing. Can you see all these things? What else do I got here? This is one, one of my favorite ones because my wife got this for me. It's got a little magnet in there. Can you see that little magnet? And when you turn it around, these are iron filings. So it, what it does is it kind of, they grow up. See that? <laughs> Isn't that cool? Can you see that? That's one of my favorites. This one is actually a compass and sundial. So it doesn't work inside indoors because it made some sun. <laughs> this one is a pocket watch see that little pocket watch there and look it's got a little treat down there see that little treat that came from my uh... nummy 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 <laughs> so it's like a peanut butter crunch thing chocolate is good with coffee mmm Coffee conversations and chocolate. We should do that as an event. Would you come? So I was talking with a woman over in Tel Aviv. She does cacao ceremonies. That's how rude I'm talking with my mouth full. Yeah, a second. <laughs> Those are good. I don't know where she got them. Um, so this woman over in Tel Aviv does these cacao ceremonies and we're talking about doing one over in Costa Rica. That'd be kind of cool, a chocolate ceremony. So I was going to talk about time, 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 time. I'm going to talk a lot about time because that's one thing we all have in common. And I, I, I see a lot of people end up, um, I guess like a magic trick. Maybe I'll do that. Produce a watch from nowhere. Poof. Time is something that we've all got in common, and a lot of people, I think, they don't know how to utilize it or leverage it. You can't really use time. It just does what it's... It just moves. It keeps on moving. That's a, a law of the universe. There's nothing you can do about it. It just moves. But a lot of people, they say, I don't have time. And... I wonder why don't you have time to grab a coffee with me because I have I seem to have a lot of time granted I'm governed by the same laws as everyone else but I have this gift to be able to leverage time or, or leverage my activities and I like to share with people how I do that I mean it's really not that hard it's just and I wouldn't even call it multitasking but um, with the use of the internet these days it's a lot easier now to do stuff like that because you can do things in the morning that last, have longevity to them. So as, as a quick example, when I'm done with this video, I'm going to save it to my phone and put it up to YouTube. That doubles it, it puts it in two different places. It's not only on Facebook, it's also on YouTube. And now I can reposition that video and leverage it and put it out to other people in different, on different platforms. So that multiplies it even more and then when I'm doing it as side by side, if I do a collaborative with other people, it synergizes even more because now they propagate it out and it gets more and more coverage. 
So if you've got an actual project or product or service that you want to promote, you can get it out to many more people than just Facebook. And as you know, Facebook is kind of putting some restrictions on people as far as what they can actually get information out to. And I understand why they do that. They've got, uh, they got bills to pay, so they need to sell advertising. So of course, they are only gonna show the information to the people that are paying the money, right? Just makes sense. So if you wanna pay the money, now what you've gotta do is you gotta bid and compete against the big boys like McDonald's and Best Buy and Coca-Cola to be able to get that exposure. So there's a challenge there when you gotta bid against the big boys. So why not leverage your thinking? <laughs> so that's kind of how I do it with the, maybe you've seen, you've seen the Synergy Collaborative. And sometimes people see it and they go, oh, I don't know if I can really afford $10 a month because I'm paying my cable bill and I got my cell phone bill and that's $200 in and of itself. And that's what gets people in trouble when they start um, investing in things they can't afford that aren't re bringing return on their investment. Um, we need to have our cell phones because that's how we communicate with our friends, family, and loved ones, right? And that's what you want to do, your loved ones. <laughs> We want to be able to spend more time. Um, there's a lot of people that have like day jobs and if, they're, if they love their day job and they're making a lot of money and then on the weekends they can spend a lot of time with their family and friends, two thumbs up for that, right? But sometimes you want to just be able to have time on your own or be able to go and do what you want, where you want, when you want. And when you can have uh, income streams set up that are automated, that are, that are bringing in revenue, like I just sold another book this morning on Amazon or on eBay. Who would have thunk it? Now, here's a strategy that I use for that. That book that I sold is now a prospective customer for my other uh, you know, make money online, entrepreneurial, business owner, lifestyle design opportunities, right? That person that I sold the book for. They come into my, they call it a funnel. I don't like using all those technical terms because the reality is, is the world is our funnel these days with the internet. It's just a matter of keeping it all in perspective. And that's the challenge because it's re really easy for you that are online right now to change the channel and go somewhere else. I'm in, not in control of that. Whereas uh, the olden days when you uh, sort of owned the advertising in the newspaper, who's a good example of that? Dick Enrico. He was a master at that being the guy, the second wind exercise equipment. He was the guy, he was everywhere. He knew how to be on the billboards, he was in the bathrooms, he was on TV, he was on radio. He was smart that way, being, being all places everywhere. So, that's my little marketing tip. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm not going to take too much more of your time. If you want to know more about me, you can go to Magic Brad Presents, or you can just Google Magic Brad, or I got my phone number out there. I try and be as transparent and open as possible to be able to help people leverage their time. And uh, that's my story, I'm sticking to it. So I'm going to put you under those hypnosis, under hypnosis, and then you'll call me. Your eyelids are getting heavy, deep, deep sleep. <laughs> you'll give me a call and you'll come and have coffee with me soon. We will talk about marketing strategy and lifestyle design. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm only teasing. Okay, enough. Peace, love, and happiness. This is Magic Brad signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be well. Bye.